Who are you? Are you a first time home buyer looking to get into a master plan community, but you don't wanna break the bank, you just want that first home? Or are you somebody looking maybe to build their forever family home? You've got the budget for it and you know you wanna be in a master plan community with all the bells and whistles. Or maybe you're looking to downsize. Maybe you've lived in a bigger, nicer home and you're looking for something smaller, but you don't wanna sacrifice build quality. You still want some nice finishes, but you want a convenient neighborhood. Well, we're actually in a neighborhood that accommodates all three of those buyers today. In fact, this neighborhood happens to be the closest master plan community to the Woodlands, Texas, which is gonna have some of the best bars, restaurants, shopping, and really just suburban living in the entire Houston area. We are in North Grove today. We're gonna show you these amazing amenities. We're gonna talk about the amazing schools because it does have access to great public schools. But I wanted to start today's video by giving you an inside look in these entry-level starter homes here because unlike a lot of other master plan communities where you're seeing prices well over $400,000, just to buy a home in the neighborhood. We're actually seeing prices right now in North Grove starting around $350,000. We're walking into the Chesmar model home, and this is a 45 foot product, which means that it's 45 foot width in lot size, and the home is gonna be 35 feet wide. Now, this model home, I told you, you can get homes starting right around $350,000. This one's gonna be one of their bigger floor plans, so you can purchase this floor plan for just over $425,000, but they actually have homes starting at 1,700 square feet that are gonna get you in right around $350,000. But the cool thing is, is this model home is going to give you a great idea of what you can really get inside of the homes. In fact, the first thing I want to show you is they have their design center here. And so with Chesmar, if you don't buy an inventory home and you want to actually pick out everything, you're going to be able to come right into the model and pick everything out from your backsplash to your kitchen cabinets, your flooring, even the brick and exterior. So if you want to go with a traditional look, you've got that option. But if you want to go with those more modern color palettes that we're seeing, then you're gonna have those choices as well. Now, typically, if you were to build this floor plan, this would actually be the garage. So this wouldn't open up the way that it is right here, but this is one of their two-story floor plans. And so, as I mentioned, they've got homes starting around 1,700 square feet, and then their biggest ones are gonna be just up over 2,600 square feet. But let's walk past this way. This is actually the office right here that they office out of, but you're gonna open up into the living room. And what I love is this is nice and open up to that second story. So you're actually, whenever we go upstairs, you'll see that it kind of overflows here into the living room. But in a 45 foot product, when you hear getting a home around $350,000, you, you immediately think small, but this doesn't feel small at all. In fact, it really opens up and it gives you that kind of open concept living space that everybody's really wanting. The other thing I noticed is that you get these two story windows. So you get a lot of natural light here in this home. Now the home very much flows front to back. You've got a lot of modern finishes in this particular floor plan uh, or in this model home, but they've got the upgraded granite. This is gonna come standard. So no matter if you're the 1700 square foot home or the 2600 square foot home, you're still gonna get the same finishes and the same quality of craftsmanship. So you've got plenty of cabinet space in here. You've got your stainless steel appliances, your kitchen island, and then you've got more of your kitchenette slash formal dining area over here. You've got covered back patios, and then let's head on this way into the primary suite. This floor plan is gonna be four bedrooms. Most of their homes are gonna be three or four bedrooms. You notice you actually have 12 foot ceilings in the primary suite, which is actually bigger than a lot of $500,000, $600,000 homes. You've got your his and hers, dual vanities, uh, really big walk-in shower. So what we're seeing a lot of the builders do is they're going away from the tubs and they're starting to just put bigger showers in the bathrooms. I personally like it, but I'm curious, comment below if you're a tub guy or girl and you have to have that tub. I'm just kind of curious if you're more tub or shower. Pretty good size walk-in closet here too. Now, it is good for you to know just as we walk through this, this floor plan is around 2,400 square feet. So it's gonna be about 700 square feet bigger than that smallest floor plan that they have to offer. So that is the only bedroom on this main level. And then they've got a uh, guest bath here with an extra little storage closet, which is pretty cool. And then as you head back on up to the front of the home, you are going to have your office on this side, which is cool. It's downstairs here on the first floor. And then you're gonna have a pretty good size laundry room too. So go in there, check that out. Uh, it's, it's probably on the bigger side than some of these uh, homes that we typically see. You got the garage that way, but come on up stairs. I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised with the extra bonus space that you have. Now here is gonna be that second living room. This is really a game room for the kids or an extra TV room. And I like this because some homes, 
you get this big overflow balcony from the second story and it just becomes a big echo chamber. This is kind of half and half. It's partitioned off. You can still see the downstairs, but it very much still feels like its own defined space. And right this way is going to be your first of the three guest bedrooms. So pop on in there. You can see it's a decent size and then it's got a, obviously all of them are going to have their own closet. You got your little storage linen closet here. And then this hallway is going to split you to two different bedrooms. And this one actually has a pretty good size walk-in closet for a secondary bedroom. So I appreciated that. All three upstairs bedrooms are going to share this bath right here. So this particular floor plan, um, you're going to share the bath if you got three kids up here. Uh, nice kind of smaller walk-in closet, but all the rooms are a decent size. And then with this little cutout, I like what they did here with this desk. So this gives you a really good idea of kind of the finish work that you're going to get. Um, upstairs, they've got carpet, but if you were to build this, you could pick whatever kind of flooring that you would want to up here. So you really can get in North Grove right around that $350,000 price point. And if you build their biggest floor plan, just so you know what something like this runs, the model would run around $425,000 as it stands. But even their biggest floor plan around 2,600 square feet, you can get fully decked out right around $450,000. So we've seen our first home, but you're probably wondering where are we? And I mentioned that we're the closest master plan community to the Woodlands, Texas. We're actually located in Magnolia right now. We're right off of 2978, which is the main road that runs behind the Woodlands. And in fact, you're kind of positioned pretty uniquely between the Woodlands, Magnolia, and Tomball. Now, because you're in Magnolia, you're going to be zoned to Magnolia ISD and the schools that you're going to go to are really highly rated and they're going to feed up into Magnolia High School, which is one of the two Magnolia High Schools. Now, the reason that this location is fantastic is because you're actually able to go and shop at a lot of what the Woodlands has to offer. You're about six minutes from Sterling Ridge, which is the furthest back village. And that's where you're gonna have your Walmart, which is gonna be probably technically the closest grocery store. But if you just go a few miles further down 2978, you're gonna be right at Four Corners, which is that intersection of 1488 and 2978. And that is Magnolia's biggest intersection. We actually featured it in our Magnolia vlog, but you're gonna have everything there. You're gonna have large grocery stores, You've got gyms, restaurants, fast food, mom and pop restaurants, uh, daycares, and everything in between. So you've got close proximity to all of that. But if you hop in your car and you actually go the other direction, you're 10 minutes from downtown Tomball, which we cover in our full Tomball vlog. But you're going to have Fire Ant Brewing, a lot of more cool, uh, I would say, mom and pop restaurants are going to be featured in Tomball. You've got boutiques. And downtown Tomball is really going to have that small town Texas feel. It's got that Texas charm to it and they've got probably the best farmer's market in the entire Houston area that pops up frequently on Saturday mornings, I believe from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. So if you're looking for something fun to do with the family, you're literally 10 minutes away from that. But these are all the amenities outside of the neighborhood. But one of the cool things about living in a master plan community is gonna be all the features that they have inside of this community. And this being a Toll Brothers community, they spared no expense. This community has all of the amenities you could ask for, and the good news is they're already completely built out. Because this neighborhood is about three quarters of its way through the development, they actually have the amenity center, they've got the pool, they've got the parks, they've got the playgrounds already built. Now this amenity center is 9,400 square feet. This is where you're gonna find the neighborhood events. They've got a full events calendar. In fact, all of the events are planned by their full-time events coordinator. And so they're constantly facilitating those interactions with your neighbors on holidays, coming up with fun things for you and the family to do. So you can just check that calendar and enroll on up to one of the events. Now the amenity center is going to be not only a place for these events, but they also have the gym. So you don't have to go get a gym membership. They've got a full sized, really nice gym located right up here that you can use whenever you want to work out. And then they've got the pool here as well, which is a really nice resort style pool. It's got a beach entry. And if you're not wanting to actually hop in the pool during these hot summer days, they have a splash pad for the kiddos, which is a pop jet fountain. This neighborhood also has an extensive trail system. And a lot of these paved sidewalk trails are gonna run alongside the major roads, but they're also gonna run right along the stocked fishing ponds that are located throughout the community. So if you wanna take those kids fishing or you just wanna fish for yourself, then you're gonna be able to do that right here inside of North Grove. And a couple more amenities that I really like about this neighborhood is they actually have tennis courts. We don't see those in every master plan community, but if you like to play tennis or pickleball, you're going to be able to do that inside of the neighborhood. They also feature dog parks. So if you've got the little dogs or the big dogs, 
doesn't matter. They've got a dog park that you can go and let them run and have a good time. And the dogs aren't the only ones that get parks. We have plenty of playgrounds in the neighborhood, both right here at the amenity center, just out these front doors. And then you have pocket parks throughout the community as well. So you can mix it up and give those kids some variety with their playgrounds. And even though it is usually hot here in Texas, when it does cool off, they have a fire pit for you to come and gather up here with your neighborhood friends. Now we've showed you that entry level home option here, but if you bump that budget up just a little bit, I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised by what you can get with this next builder. Now we're gonna be checking out Perry Homes and they actually have built on two different lot sizes here in North Grove. They started out in a 50 foot section and that section is coming to an end, but they still have a few homes available. But now they're building on 65 foot lots. So this is gonna be their 65 foot model. But just so there's no confusion, this is gonna be the best bigger family home option for you right here in North Grove. It's got some of the more approachable prices in the 50 foot products, starting around $450,000. And then these 65 foot lots, which are gonna give you a lot more space inside, which you will see here in just a moment. These are really gonna start in the high sixes and they're gonna work their way on up into the 800 thousands. But you're gonna notice that the look and the finishes of these homes are a lot more elevated. So this particular floor plan is just right under 3,300 square feet and it's all on one level. Perry is gonna be known for their one stories. They build some two story floor plans, but they're known for their one stories. And right when you come in, you're gonna see this office up at the front. Most of their floor plan configurations are gonna offer this. And because it's a one story, you've got all the bedrooms right here, but we'll, we'll see those here in just a second. I wanna to come to the heart of the home. As you walk into the home, a couple things that you're gonna notice, because it's a one story, you got these tall ceilings in the entry but it really opens up into this main living room. He's got massive cathedral ceilings and it really is that big open concept family room. And I don't know if you're like me, but the first thing that catches my eyes are gonna be these massive, gorgeous sliders. So this is really where you're gonna spend all of your time. This is where you've got your kind of informal dining area. This is where you've got your kitchen, your TV, and then you've got that kind of outdoor space as well. But if you come over here, I want you to see just the level of detail that's going on here in the kitchen. You've got tons of cabinet space, a massive kitchen island. It's got four bar stools. You might even be able to fit five. And uh, it just feels very open in here, especially because these ceilings really open up. Uh, it really feels you know, quite large and massive. And then one thing that I love that I personally had to have in my home, I needed that secondary living space on the first floor. And you get that with this particular floor plan. Uh, you got this flex room. You could use it as a media room, but they kind of have it set up more as a game room. It's got great views back over to the backyard, but if you did set it up as a media room, just throw up those blackout curtains and you would call it a day. Also, if you got little kids like I do, it is hands down the best option to have a playroom right off the kitchen. If you're a mom and you're watching this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's nothing better than being able to stay here you know, prep food in the kitchen, whatever you're doing, and keep an eye on those kiddos. So as we walk over here to the primary suite, once again, just check out this view of the backyard. Now this is gonna be on one of their bigger lots here in North Grove, but they are gonna have some pretty good lot options being that this is a 65 foot product. So they continued the uh, wood look tile into the primary suite. That's gonna totally be up to you if you want carpet or not. But that is one thing Perry's known for uh, in their inventory homes, they typically put this wood look tile. And Perry also, just so you know about them as a builder, they've got so many different floor plan configurations. They've got probably more floor plans than any other production builder that I know here in the Houston area. But check this out, this is a massive bathroom. Plenty of space, I mean, literally plenty of space. I don't feel like either person's getting cut short on their, uh, on their sink area. This one's got, I guess, the little makeup counter, but big uh, freestanding tub. And then you've got a huge walk-in shower with dual entries. And then I do love this. Come check out this closet. So you don't have to share closet space. It's dedicated. You've got yours, your spouse has theirs. So we'll go this way. We'll go show you some of these other bedrooms. So to get to these other bedrooms, you've got one hallway right here. And one thing that I love about these is they're all gonna have plenty of space. So this is a good sized bedroom. I don't feel like they cut you short anywhere in this home. And then you've got smaller but decent sized walk-in closets, but all the other bedrooms are actually bigger than this one and have bigger closets. You've got this kind of pass-through Jack and Jill bathroom over here, and that's what's gonna connect you over to this other bedroom here. Now this one's cool. I like how they decorated this one, but this gives you a good idea of the size of these rooms. This looks to be a, I think this is a queen. It might be a full, um, but coming here, you've got a bigger walk-in closet. 
Now, since this is a model home, these are set up as offices, but normally this would actually be the garage. And I believe that this floor plan, to me, it looks, it looks pretty big. It looks almost like a three car, but come on down this way. This would be the hallway you'd walk down. You've got kind of your, I guess, get ready area for the kids. You got hooks for the backpacks, the shoes, and then that's a pretty good sized laundry room as well. You've got your downstairs half bath here. And then this is kind of definitely the bigger guest suite in the home. It almost functions as like a second primary. It's got a massive closet and then it actually has its own bathroom right over here. So it's got a full walk-in shower. If you're a family, chances are you're probably wanting at least four bedrooms. Most of their, of their floor plans are gonna be these four bedroom options. And as I mentioned, even a home like this with all the bells and whistles, with the upgraded sliders, the cathedral ceilings come standard with this floor plan, but you're really gonna be able to get some really cool features in that seven to 800,000 range in the 65 foot products. But if that's breaking the bank for you and you still want a family home right here in North Grove, you can switch over and look at their 50 foot products. And like I said, you can get those starting right around $450,000. Before we check out this next housing option, which might be my favorite, you probably noticed that I hurt my finger. So I'm gonna need your help. If you could do me a favor, just go ahead and click that like button, subscribe, tap the bell for notifications, and we will keep you up to date on everything that's going on right here in Houston, Texas. My name is Kyler Ferris, and our team gets calls, texts, emails every single day from people just like you looking to move here to Houston. So if that is you, don't be shy. Just give us that call, shoot us that text, send us that email. That way we can help you make a smooth move right here to Houston, Texas. Now, we are in front of the Toll Brothers model home. Now, not only are they the actual developer of this community, but they're one of the home builders and they're building on two different products out here. They've got a 50 foot product, which is this model home you see behind me, and they also have a 60 foot product as well. But I mentioned earlier in the video, that we had a product for maybe somebody that wants those higher end finishes but doesn't need that massive square footage, whether you're downsizing or you're just in a season of life where maybe you don't need five bedrooms. Well, that is gonna be this product. Now, this is still a great family home, but they're gonna start around 2,200 square feet and work their way on up from there. But the home we're walking in right now starts right around $500,000. Now, right when you enter this home, first thing I noticed is just the detail work. So. You've got millwork all along the walls. That is an upgrade, but it is offered through this builder. And you've got real French oak wood flooring. Let's get past some of these bedrooms and let's head on into the main living area. But as you walk down this hallway, once again, notice the ceiling height is nice, big and open. You've got a really cool study here that we can check out in just one second. But I wanna to go to the heart of the home because even though this is a 50 foot product, it's not the widest product in the world. They did a really, really great job of making it feel nice and light and airy. You've got cool cathedral ceilings in here. And I absolutely love the two-tone cabinetry in here. They brought in a real wood look, really cool granite going on here, massive farmhouse sink. And the appliances are upgraded. You've got the drop-in five burner gas cooktop. And I love, 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 love these pull-out drawers. I've got these in my home and uh, I wouldn't have it any other way, but check out the living room too. It's all the detail work that you're gonna get in Toll Brothers. So this floor plan is actually just under 2,300 square feet, but I love that they've got this custom electric fireplace mounted and it's like a marble looking tile, uh, I guess, finish here on the fireplace. You also are gonna have these massive sliders. This home can really open up and give you that indoor outdoor lifestyle. So I personally love it. Um, it's pre-plumbed for a grill, if you wanted to have a natural gas grill. They also have a door to get out there from the kitchen too. They also have a really cool butler's pantry. If you were to walk around over here, check that out. Uh, it just gives you that kind of hidden coffee bar and then plenty of storage in the pantry too. I hate whenever they make pantries too small in these higher end homes. So follow me, we'll walk over to the primary suite. This bathroom is gorgeous. So right whenever you walk into the primary, before you even get to the bedroom, you're met with a bathroom. And as you walk into there, you're gonna notice that you've got the freestanding tub and then really cool tile work, not just in the shower, but I love how they carried it throughout the whole wall. So once again, if you're looking for those finer touch points, this is definitely gonna be your builder. You've got your two vanities and you walk back over here. I've actually never seen this. You've got a clear door to your uh, oversized linen closet and then Pretty good sized primary closet, and they have the wood floors in here too, which I absolutely love. And then as you head back out this way, you're gonna get to the bedroom. So you've got 10 foot jumping up to 11 foot ceilings. They actually have this home pre-wired, so you've got surround sound in here, and it's run throughout the entire house. And then 
because they've got great designers, but you could make your home look like this too. And then pretty windows that open up into the backyard. And before we check out the office and the other bedrooms, a couple things about Toll Brothers. They are known as a countrywide luxury builder. They build in over 20 states and they only recently started building these smaller products. They're actually known for their just really high end detail work. And so it really translates into these 50 and 60 foot products. You'll notice that there's a big difference between a Toll Brothers 50 foot product and another, uh, another builder's 50 foot product. But once again, even in their 60 foot products, they're actually keeping almost all of their prices at or under that $700,000 price point. So you can get a decked out home around 3,000 square feet for under $700,000. So as you come this way, I actually love how they decorated this office. We've got a very large laundry room for such a small home and the built-ins are phenomenal. I love that you've got the folding top table on top of the washer and dryer. Back this way, that's gonna connect you to your garage. And then as you head back up to the front of the home, this is gonna give you access to your other two bedrooms because this is a three bedroom home, not a four. So you come right in here. Once again, they've got great designers, not a walk-in closet, um, but just a pretty big set of, I guess, hanging space. And then the bathroom that these two bedrooms are gonna share. I love the tile. Uh, I'm not a longhorn, so I don't love burnt orange, but that looks really cool. And then this is probably the larger of the, uh, the two guest bedrooms down here. So. This should really give you a good example of what you can get if you're really not wanting a massive uh, floor plan or footprint of a home, but you still want those higher end finishes. Toll Brothers is definitely gonna be the builder for you. So the three different builders that we showed you today are actually the only three builders that are still building here in North Grove. The community is getting closer to being completely built out. They've got about a quarter of the way to go. And so these are gonna be your options. So if you are looking for that new construction opportunity in a master plan neighborhood that's still very close to not only the woodlands, but also all the shopping and new things that Magnolia and Tomball have to offer, then I would definitely explore North Grove. And if you wanna know more about Tomball or Magnolia, click on our vlogs. They're gonna tell you everything they need to know about this area. And as always, if you're looking to move here, don't be shy. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us a quick email. That way we can help you make a smooth move right here to North Grove.